Hello everyone, Lawrence here with a very affordable 1080p DLP projector that offers incredible image quality. But first, let's get some technical specifications out of the way. First up, the bulb in here should last you about 15,000 hours, which is plenty. And it goes up to 3,500 ANSI lumens, which is really bright. So even if you are in a pretty bright room or you just want a massive projection, this thing will be able to handle it. It has some support for 3D. Um, there is a vertical keystone up to 40 degrees. And more importantly, of course, let's have a look at the inputs. Image-wise, you get dual VGA, dual HDMI, and there's also some S-Video on there. What's pretty weird is there is serial support and a micro USB-B, so you can configure it over you know, serial if that's what you're into. It has audio pass-through, so audio in and out, always handy to have. While BenQ markets this towards meeting room stuff, where I work, we actually moved away from projectors and we just go with 4K big televisions because graphs will look a lot sharper on that. Where I think this will shine is having friends over doing a movie night um, or just watching sports events together on a big screen. I think that is what the TH535 is perfect for because it isn't as sharp as you would like for you know, showing numbers and graphs and all that sort of stuff. The TH535 isn't a laser projector, it's not short throw. So what that means is my projection screen over there is about three meters away and the diagonal of the image I'm getting is about two meters. These are just very random numbers because there is a zoom ring on top of there as well. Now the zoom will give you 20% of zoom, which is something and it can be enough to make small adjustments. But again, you can't put this right up to your projection screen. So this is why it's on a table in front of me on the sofa right here. Now, when you're going to be installing this in your place, I would definitely recommend mounting it on the ceiling so it's out of the way. This is of course just a temporary setup. The real reason I would recommend mounting it on your ceiling, for example, is because of the adjustment. This is a budget projector. It doesn't have autofocus and it doesn't have auto keystone. So it's something you want to set up well and then forget about it. If you have it on a table, someone pushes on the table, now your image is out of focus and out of key. So that is something to keep in mind. If it's just something to set up every now and then for a party, that's perfectly fine, but you're not gonna be using this as like a TV replacement. And because it's such a basic projector, it doesn't have any smart support. So you have to run a Chromecast on there or a computer like what I'm doing right here to get a lot of the smart functionality from it. This is really just a projector, which is quite different from what we're seeing with a lot of stuff. But then you have to keep in mind, this is 550 euros at the moment. So this is really affordable. While this is low budget and doesn't come with any sort of automated or smart functionality, it is incredible when it comes to image quality. I've seen quite a few projectors that are way more expensive than this one and actually don't come anywhere near when it comes to just image quality. The colors are vivid and bright without being oversaturated like what you would see in a TV store, for example. The image is pretty sharp in the middle. However, the lens, you do notice that it's not an expensive lens because there is a bit of distortion and softness when you come to the edges. There isn't really any vignetting going on, but the edge or corner sharpness really isn't much to write home about. However, for just watching TV, watching films, watching sports events, this is perfectly fine. It's actually incredible when it comes to video quality. To round up this very short video, let's do a conclusion on the TH535. First of all, it is incredibly affordable and I think that makes it something that you could have as a little extra when you're having friends over to watch a sports game, watch a movie together. And if you really want to use this in a sort of meeting room, then you can do that too. Now, something you may have noticed already is this thing has been on throughout this recording. And so the fan noise is definitely quite audible and it also gets incredibly hot. Like I cannot really put my hand on top of it for a long time, so keep that in mind. Um, other awesome things about it is the image quality. It's incredible image quality for the price. Things it lacks are, you know, auto keystone and auto focus. But that's pretty much it for the TH535. I'll put a link in the description below so you can pick one up yourself. For now, massive thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you want more frequent updates, there's a bunch of social media links below. You can, of course, also subscribe and like this video.